Welcome to the High Tech Health Ionizer Installation video. You are going to start by taking the two white hoses that connect to the ports on the back of the ionizer. Be sure to use the silver hose clamps to secure the hoses to the receiving ports. You may need to use pliers to apply the hose clamps. And use the longer length hose as the tap water hose. Attach the tap water hose to the back of the junction tap. Loosen and remove tightening nut first. Thread over free end of tap water hose. Place tap water hose onto port on the back of the junction tap. Screw the nut down to secure hose to junction tap. This is the hose the water will flow through to feed the ionizer. Remove aerator from end of your tap water faucet so that the male or female threads are visible. Connect junction tap to end of your faucet. Unscrew fastening nut from top of junction tap. Holding fastening nut against end of faucet, screw appropriate adapter, male or female threads, into end of faucet so that fastening nut sits above it. Now connect main body of junction tap. Position junction tap so that the black rubber washer is seated against bottom of adapter. Screw down fastening nut so that it sandwiches the adapter against the rubber washer on the junction tap. Attach stainless steel hose to metal receptacle on the top of the ionizer. Turn hand screw base of hose until it is secured. It will still wiggle just a bit when fully in place. This is expected. If you choose, secure end of astringent white hose to wall of sink with suction cup provided with your ionizer. Attach silver nozzle to end of astringent hose, then insert the silver nozzle through hole in suction cup piece. This routine retains the astringent hose in a convenient secured position. Plug in ionizer to wall outlet. Turn lever on junction tap to black dot or spray position. Run water through tap until cold. Now, with cold water running at a low pressure level, turn junction tap lever to the blue dot position. This will start water flowing through the ionizer. With brand new ionizers, they will produce an intermittent beep for about 90 seconds. When this beeping is finished, the ionizer is ready to use. You may fill up a glass of water and try it out. Be sure you're beginning on level one as per our instruction sheet enclosed with your new ionizer.